Yeah, I just wanted to post a quick initial look at this uh, Titan screwdriver set that was uh, available exclusively through Costco. I was able to purchase it for about $16 on sale, normal price $20. And I was specifically looking for a large selection of screwdrivers um, that I could keep in vehicle for um, basically full functionality uh, mobile mechanics type work. I do do a lot of shade tree mechanics and um, while I typically own much nicer tools than this, i um, looking for something that I can keep in a vehicle that's typically below freezing half half the year long and still be decent. This particular set, it comes with a few precisions, comes with a few picks, and then it comes with a decent selection of um, Phillips and your uh, standard. Interestingly enough, it does actually show the torque symbol on there. However, under closer inspection, none of these large screwdrivers are. On the back here, it gives you a part inventory, and you can see quite quickly that there's, in fact, only one star or Torx screwdriver. Um, but interestingly, it's a T6, which is kind of nice because usually um, the smaller precision screwdrivers, you know, anything under 8 or 9, are pretty hard to find. So I think I can add an inexpensive Torx screwdriver set, maybe like a Harbor Freight one to it five or six bucks and um, get a pretty decent set out of this. A couple things to notice is that um, plenty of cabinet and standard slotted screwdrivers and note that they are all hex shaft. The other thing to look at is that they do have the through holes on them so you can stick a relatively small Phillips screwdriver in there and be able to twist them that way or of course um, you know, as the picture indicates you can put some sort of a wrench on them because they are a hex shaft. Uh, a couple other things to notice is um, we've got a manufacturer in China out of it. And then Star Asia USA is the import company. Um, this does advertise a lifetime warranty and they list a customer service line. However, I have no idea what they're going to do for a lifetime warranty on this. A lot of times with Costco, they basically take back the whole kit, give you your money back. But um, if you have a couple screwdrivers, pull out of the handles. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do. One other thing I should point out is this does advertise that they're magnetized tips. Something that you're going to be working in a driveway with, that's probably a good thing. Um, anything electronics based, you'd obviously want to avoid that. So here's an overall shot of the entire set. A um, couple things that I notice right off the bat are um, the machining on some of these Phillips is interesting. You can see here at the bit, it actually is a little bit smaller than the hex shaft. Um, and that's a really interesting sizing that they put on that. Um, typically, I would see a shaft that's just a little bit uh, narrower in dimension that matches about what the Phillips tip comes out to. Um, you can see that pretty well on this stubby as well. For comparison, you can see the 2x4 Phillips. The main difference here is on the hex shaft. Um, but you'll also notice that the shaft is just overly um, closer to the actual dimension of the end Phillips bit. Another thing to note if we stand them up end to end, um, that Titan one does not appear to be pressed into the correct length um, where, the, where these Harbor Freight ones do just happen to be the actual four inches. So other than the cost, the other thing that really draws me to these screwdrivers is, again, that handle. Um, for me, this is um, typically how I'm going to be holding a screwdriver for just um, the more precision work, and then um, either flipping to something like this, or um, when I need to apply more torque like that. I think these handles do a good job. I like these two-stage uh, polyurethane covered um, hard plastic screwdrivers just because they tend to hold pretty well in your hand um, even when you get a little bit of grease or um, say for example they get cold and they have some condensation on them or oil um, they, they still tend to provide pretty good um, grip and here's an example of being able to fit a smaller screwdriver into the larger one um, just in order to turn it with an, some extra torque um, definitely not something you want to do every day but can help you out in a pinch so Costco actually used to sell a different version of this Titan screwdriver, um, one that did not have the hex shafts 
and it would come in a larger assortment that came in, I think it was around a 30 piece set for again, $20. But this appears to be a good step up from that. I had noticed that several of the larger flatheads, um, actual shaft of the screwdriver was not well mounted inside of the handle. And I'd actually um, snapped a couple of the largest ones loose within the handle um, on the older version. And this new manufacturer appears to be resolving a lot of those issues. So this does look like a good quality update from some of the previous Titan brand screwdrivers. Granted, you would get a few more um, Torx and Robinson heads for them. Another thing we should take a quick look at is these um, precision screwdrivers. Um, they do look to be relatively decent. Um, as with most precisions, you're going to want to be able to spin the end because, again, you're putting it in um, the back portion of your palm and spinning the tip. Um, looking at the tips themselves, they don't have any fine machining to them. They do have a liberal application of some uh, gritting material to uh, just give them a little bit extra holding power. And they do appear to be fairly uniform from one to the other. In my mind, these were not um, anything worth purchasing on their own, but um, to be included in a spare set is always a nice little extra. And here's a quick look at the picks. Um, one thing to note about these is that they do have fairly large handles, just like the rest of them. Um, but sometimes that larger handle actually can be detrimental. Sometimes you need to apply just a very small amount of force to a pick, and you want something that's um, going to be thinner. So I think I would augment these with um, a good quality, maybe almond branded, um, thin double-headed pick set. And here's a quick look at the cabinet screwdriver style. Um, cabinet, cabinet tip being essentially that it's going to be flush. And you can see that it is um, nicely aligned with the hex shaft on these. Um, one thing that's a little frustrating is that these are the same dimension, um, 3 16 where they, they really could have given um, a little bit slimmer head on one of these. And then the one, one eighth is a little bit nicer. One last thing I should mention is, um, as this is a fairly large assortment, um, I can see these being quite useful just as a spare set to keep in a, like a um, utility room on pegboard. Um, all having these hooks, you can get a decent set organized um, for just you know ten fifteen dollars worth of uh, pegboard material, and um, it would be a good set for spares or maybe at the cabin or something like that. Well, thanks for taking a quick look at these screwdrivers. Um, again, these are Titan, sold through Costco um, in the States for around $20. And I would say for $20, you're getting about what you pay for. Um, I would definitely not recommend these as your primary screwdrivers, but um, as with a lot of hand tools, just having multiples is nice. And this is a great option for that. Um, 25 screwdrivers for, I paid $15 for this on sale. Um, you know, less than a dollar screwdriver. It's really hard to go wrong. And these are pretty good ergonomic screwdrivers. Thanks for checking out this video. Feel free to check out some other in my playlist and have a good night. Thanks.